last news. And I am Armin Mihovakimian, the Deputy Secretary General of the Federation of Euro Asian Stock Exchanges. Working from home, working from Yerevan, but visiting different countries. And today is a Jordan day, a country of Fayas region. And my guest today is the Chief Executive Officer of Amman Stock Exchange, Mr. Mazen Badaifi. Mr. Mazen, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. Uh... Uh, this is uh, actually a wonderful opportunity for me, actually, to thank you very, very much for having me in this interview, and uh, thank you very much for for this invitation. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, I wish uh, all the best for all the members of FIES and for the whole world. Uh, Thanks for your kind words, Mr. Mazen. Um, Amman Stock Exchange is a founding member of FIES. You yeah. joined. Uh, the Amman Stock Exchange as a CEO last year, but you are in a capital market more than 35 years. And you joined the stock exchange and then in some six or five months, the this crisis, this health crisis came and uh, the which led to the market crisis and the Amman Stock Exchange uh, was closed, the market closed in Jordan for more than 50 days. And, but now you are operating pretty well. The stock exchange is operating and you overcame this uh, obstacles uh, pretty well. Please tell us what are the key strategic initiatives that Anand Stock Exchange is working at this moment and how the strategy has changed uh, related to this crisis? Yeah, well, thank you very much for the question. Actually, as you've just mentioned, uh, over 50 days, uh, uh, the, 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 the trading was suspended at, at the Amman Stock Exchange due to the, uh, the crisis and due to the shutdown or the lockdown of the whole uh, activities in the country. Uh, so uh, there was a decision to uh, suspend trading at the Stock Exchange. And after the resumption uh, uh, of or, or the comeback of the economic activities, actually, there was a resumption of trading at the Amman Stock Exchange. And since the resumption uh, on the 10th of May, actually, uh, the, the market now uh, is, uh, has come back to its stability and uh, its equilibrium, let's say. So uh, the market now is, uh, uh, we have trading, we have normal trading up and down as, as usual. Well, actually, uh, we have responded to this crisis by uh, putting initiatives in order to, uh, to strengthen uh, the, 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 the activities in the market and also to face uh, this challenge. As you know, and the whole world now is facing challenges according to this pandemic uh, uh, that affected the whole world. Uh, uh, the Amman Stock Exchange is not an exception. So we put in place a number of initiatives in order to enhance the regulatory and the technical uh, uh, regulatory, uh, uh, technical regulatory frameworks of, of the market in cooperation of course with the with the regulator which is the Jordan Securities Commission and uh, we call them uh, the, the the capital market institutions uh, the, 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 the regulator and the STC uh, mm -hmm. Securities Depository Center and the Amari Stock Exchange. As a stock exchange we have now uh, uh, projects mm -hmm. The main project that we've, we are working on, optic trading system. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, we have a, uh, a contract with the Euronext in order to launch new trading system, which is the optic, which is a world class trading system. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, that will. Uh, enable the, the stock exchange and the investors to trade and also to implement the new technologies in, in, in trading activities like the uh, new applications with mobiles, uh, through laptops, through all these means, especially nowadays 
you know that uh, people are using technology in order to mm -hmm. uh, avoid uh, 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 an interaction, human interaction. Yeah. So, so the system uh, uh, is uh, actually will be <coughs> will be ready to be launched. Uh, we expect uh, the launching uh, uh, during the last quarter of this year, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully in September. Okay. Hopefully in September. The other the other project is the XBRL system, which is the extensible reporting. Uh, this extensible business reporting language, which is an international language for disclosure in order to enhance transparency and disclosure in the market. So uh, we have finalized the, uh, all the arrangements for the launching of this system. The system will be, an, it will, it will be a bilingual uh, system mm -hmm. in Arabic and in English and will enable investors to, uh, uh, to, to, to see all the disclosures mm -hmm. by listed companies uh, through the websites of the, the regulator, the Jordan Securities Commission, and the Armani Stock Exchange. Uh, also, we are uh, working now on what we call the VM, uh, VMWare system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in order to upgrade the system and the infrastructure of the Amani Stock Exchange, the technical infrastructure, uh, in order to enable the Stock Exchange to implement new technologies in, in the market and also to enhance the cybersecurity uh, in, in, in the market, to prepare ourselves for the upcoming era, or what we call the post-corona, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, also we have upgraded our website, uh, an inter interactive one, in order to uh, enable investors to uh, uh, to see all the disclosures, all the necessary information, to take their informed decision based on this on this information. Uh, also, we have launched in social media mm -hmm. uh, our uh, Twitter. Uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc. Yes, LinkedIn. Uh, yes, in order to interact with the investors and with the public, uh, we have reached uh, three years ago what we call the roadmap, the capital market development roadmap, mm -hmm. uh, cooperation with the EBRD, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Uh, we have a strategic roadmap now, uh, the three institutions, the regulator and the SDC, the Security Department Center and the, the Amanda Stock Exchange, the AAC. This roadmap uh, contains uh, recommendations mm -hmm. and activities mm -hmm. uh, that should be taken by the three, three institutions, including the AAC, in order to upgrade the regulatory and technical frameworks of the capital market of Jordan. Uh, we have implemented a number of these recommendations and now we are implementing the other recommendations of, 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 of this roadmap. Uh, we are working on introducing new, new products in the market like the ETFs. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the secrets market have, has been changed and uh, and also the Securities Commission introduced new uh, regulation for uh, the, uh, the mutual funds mm -hmm. in order to enable the, the, uh, the, uh, the establishment of other types of uh, mutual funds other than the traditional ones like the ETFs, mm -hmm. like the REITs, like, et cetera. So uh, we are working on introducing uh, this new type of investment. Also, we are working on a project we call we call it the the, the issuers outreach in order, in order to attract new listings in the market in order to enhance the depth and the width of the market and to have new uh, companies, uh, especially the the most successful ones, 
-hmm. too attractive, attractive to be listed in, in, in the market. Uh, also in order to enhance uh, the, 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 the corporate governance mm -hmm. uh, implementation and compliance by listed companies, uh, we have a project uh, to introduce uh, what is called the scorecard uh, mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. in order to uh, yeah uh, uh, in order to uh, test or to to exactly uh, specify the extent of compliance of listed companies with mm -hmm. the with the corporate governance rules uh, issued by 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 the regulator and by the way i was before i joined the uh, the stock exchange yeah. i was a commissioner and <laughs> for the, the yes Securities commission and I, I i was i chaired actually the committee that uh, formed the new uh, corporate governance rules mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I, 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 it's, it's worth mentioning that it, it's, Issuing, issuing these rules actually uh, upgraded the, uh, the, the the ranking of Jordan in, in, in uh, the World Bank uh, uh, reports mm -hmm. uh, under the minority shareholders' rights. The ranking of Jordan jumped 60, 60 positions in two years. So Amazing. Uh, yeah, this is one of the actually uh, uh, main, let's say, <laughs> accomplishments of, of the regulator actually uh, of the regulator and the operator uh, since we you know uh, also uh, that was in cooperation with the stock exchange so uh, this is a, a major uh, accomplishment by by the capital market institutions uh, also in order to uh, establish the ETFs in particular mm -hmm and uh, also to enhance the level of transparency. Uh, we are working on uh, introducing new indices in the market. We have introduced uh, last year the ASA20 of mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the blue chips of, yeah. the, of the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. and, and this is uh, uh, actually uh, uh, an introduction, let's say, or a base for uh the introduction of the uh the etf this these are act, uh, actually the main projects that we are working on <laughs> we are still working on introducing new projects uh, this pandemic created major challenges for economies for countries for individuals you as a stock exchange the ama stock exchange is doing fantastic job during even this hard time so so many projects and you didn't stop them and you are it, it is amazing how simultaneously you are doing both technological ones uh, both regulatory and with new products this is this is amazing and by the way your uh, stock exchange is one of the most efficiently working stock exchange we uh, are doing our uh, research also so uh, the ama stock exchange is is great and uh, you you mentioned a lot of uh, project that I, I am going to ask about, but first, uh, this is uh, the, the, the question came to my mind. You were from the regulator, and now you are in a stock exchange. Is are there any uh, mismatching thing? Are you happy with your last job, and uh, do you deal with the, the requirements that you manage there? And now you need to, as a stock exchange, you need to comply with these requirements. <laughs> How this contradiction? This is interesting, always. Yes, well, this is very interesting, and this is a very difficult question. <laughs> uh, well, let me tell you about something. Uh, about three months when I joined the, uh, the stock exchange, uh, one of the directors of, uh, of the uh, departments here he came in and told me about a, 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 a provision mm -hmm. in, uh, in, uh, in one of the instructions. Mm -hmm. and he mentioned that this is a requirement from the JSC. I said, <laughs> what? They shouldn't have done this. 
<laughs> but no, actually, uh, it's yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, it's when you when you change positions, you recognize that uh, you have you have to work in a number of areas mm -hmm. in order to be a regulator. Yeah, especially the regulator. The regulator needs to be an expert in running things related to the capital market. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the operator and the party under the supervision of the regulator tries sometimes to escape and to maneuver, but no, uh, the, yeah. the, the, the answer actually that I do understand really what the regulator needs mm -hmm. and what is the purpose of investor regulator. protection yes it's uh, maybe sometimes as an operator uh, you, you look at the provision of a certain from a certain instruction or a law or a law that uh, this is difficult for me but no uh, it's it's sometimes it's 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 always it's for the benefit of the market and it's yeah. for the benefit of the investor protection. So I do understand really uh, the sentiment of the, the 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 regulator and and the operator and the and the parties under the supervision of the, the operator. But I always now understand what the regulator needs and I comply. So yeah, there there is a good synergy now at the, at your capital market. So so no, knowing about uh, one of the initiatives and the objectives of Amman Stock Exchange, the Islamic Index. What is done if if something has done there, and what should be done uh, in the time of uh, in reaching this objective of making the Islamic Index? Actually, before I joined the ESE last year, uh, a committee was formed in order to establish or to categorize and classify the the stocks and the shares that are, that are in compliance mm -hmm. with the Sharia Sharia rules, which is the Islamic rules, the Islamic uh, financial rules. Yeah, and. And, and the committee uh, was comprised of scholars, Sharia com uh, scholars, and representatives from the uh, capital market institutions and from universities, uh, uh, professors, and mm -hmm. experts in, 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 in Sharia and Islamic uh, uh, finance. And they reached uh, a classification and categorization a draft, let's say, of uh, uh, they categorized and classified uh, certain uh, 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 shares and stocks that are in compliance with the Sharia requirements. Uh, they referred their uh, the draft to the board of directors of the AC, mm -hmm. uh, and the board now uh, formed. Uh, a committee from the board, and I myself actually is one of the members of this committee, in order to study uh, the results of the work of this spe specialized committee that has worked on on the classification and categorization of of the the the, the, the shares uh, and stocks that are in compliance with the Sharia. Uh, principles and, and requirements, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully uh, within the uh, coming uh, uh, short period, we'll approve the results and, and according to this to these results, actually, the uh, uh, the the stock exchange will uh, will uh, build on these results in order to establish the Islamic index mm -hmm. in the so market. Yeah. Good. So this this project is ongoing, and we are waiting for for this. We at the FAS also are waiting for uh, having the some results of this. Yeah. Coming back to the market 
and yeah. to the issuers and you mentioned that you are working with them and making some technological things also technological enhancement for them as of june 16 you managed to have 97 percent of reporting and the compliance of the reporting this is a uh, really good person percentage of the uh, audited annual financial statement as we know that during this pandemic a lot of delays are there with the reporting but uh, Amman stock exchange managed to gather um, out of 184 listed companies 97% uh, of the reports great job how you manage this how you manage to work with listed companies uh, in this situation to have this great result of reporting well, let me tell you first that uh, even when we are trading was suspended, actually during the suspension of trading, uh, we never stopped working. Mm. Uh, we we've established we have established uh, an emergency contingency plan uh, in order to uh, to work remotely. And before we close mm -hmm. uh, the stock exchange. Uh, we have prepared this plan and we've, we've prepared the, the, the needed infrastructure for uh, launching what we call the, uh, the, 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 the remote work. Mm -hmm. And each department uh, was ordered to and directed to follow certain steps in order to continue uh, uh, working mm -hmm. remotely, mm -hmm. and we followed the uh, needed uh, requirements from the listed companies, and and and, and continue and, and continued continued working through the departments, the legal department, the uh, the listed department, uh, the operation department, the IT IT department. Uh, uh, the circulars to the listed companies were, were, were sent during uh, this period. So, we, uh, as I told you, we have never stopped working. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, as you mentioned, uh, this is a very high percentage, and this is a reflection of uh, the, 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 the compliance of listed companies with the requirements of disclosure. Mm -hmm. Disclosure required by the commission by the regulator and also by by the stock exchange and and, and and this is a very good indicator actually that we relied on to more enhance the disclosure and transparency and in, in, in the market so yeah so we we've, we've managed the relationship with the with the with the, with the related parties in the market through our uh, emergency plan uh, that helped us actually in following up the relationship with the stakeholders in the market and, and during and after the, uh, the resumption of trading and resumption of work of the stock exchange. Great. This is this is showing the importance of business continuity plan and contingency plan yeah. which Amman Stock Exchange had before. Uh, and um, have there any change are there any changes in these plans uh, after this uh, pandemic so have you updated them or there were as they uh, there was yeah we're we're always updating our uh, our plans uh, especially nowadays uh, mm -hmm. as as we've previously said that there is a kind of uncertainty uh, what the this pandemic well, I have to mention that here in Jordan, thanks God, we've, we've made a very successful story in confront, confronting this pandemic and handling this, uh, this crisis. Mm -hmm. We have very limited number of cases, very limited Great. number of deaths, 10 deaths till, till, until now, this is uh, around 1,100 cases so uh we are really proud that we faced 
this challenge mm -hmm. uh, uh, with limited number of casualties, uh, with uh, very strict rules that most of the majority of the people have complied with the requirements of social distancing and uh, the closure and every uh, uh, needed requirement by the government I, and, and by the health authorities. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, this is a, 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 a wonderful and a successful uh, story of Jordan in facing this very mean and dangerous pandemic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so we are updating our plans and our uh, projects and our even regulations mm -hmm. according to the developments uh, in, 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 the, in the capital market mm -hmm. and in the economy. Uh, so uh, we really, uh, uh, and also our risk management strategies. We yeah. have a risk management strategy in the market. By the way, tomorrow we will be having uh, a meeting uh, for the risk management committee uh, uh, comprised of one of the uh, board members mm -hmm. as a chairman and a number of uh, uh, board members uh, and, and myself. Mm -hmm. So from time to time, we review uh, our strategies, our plans, our contingency plan, our risk strategy, our business continuity plan in order to minimize the risk of facing any development. Everybody now is talking about new wave of pandemic. We have to be ready for them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this will not happen. I myself, I believe that in your country will, will not happen, God will. So, so, but again, we have to prepare ourselves for any development in this regard. And, 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 and from time to time, we update our plans, we we'll update our strategies in, in order to, to face any development. Great. This is a great message to the whole community, both local and international, and for, for in general, the great message to keep uh, updated the risk management and to pay special attention to the risk management planning. Uh, and when it is coming to the implementation, always good to have the good plans uh, on site and uh, working plans rather than to manage them during the crisis. So this is a great message that I want to stress again, that keeping updated the risk management plans, contingency plans, and having these um, meetings, con uh, continuous meetings with the committees, this brings the success story of both countries and uh, institutions, and particularly the uh, Amman Stock Exchange. Congratulations on this good management on the risk side. Uh, the, the one question about the cooperations that Amman Stock Exchange is uh, having uh, before the crisis, like the, the very maybe last meeting Amman Stock Exchange had with the Palestine Exchange, if I'm not mistaken as both exchanges are members of FEAS and FEAS is uh, very much following the activities of their members. Can you please uh, mention some uh, points? What uh, cooperation possibilities are there with the Palestine exchange? Uh, you both exchanges are very dynamic and managed well. What are your expectations for this cooperation if, if there are some future plans? Well, uh, to be honest with you, actually, uh, we've received the CEO of the Palestine Stock Exchange before the uh, before the lockdown of, uh, uh, in in March, and uh, we've discussed uh, uh, the possibilities and the ways of cooperation between our two institutions, and uh, there are a number of areas, but actually. Uh, 
you know, when the pandemic came and the lockdown, uh, hopefully uh, very soon uh, they will overcome this crisis and uh, travel restrictions will be lifted mm -hmm. in order to meet mm -hmm. and in order to discuss or to resume the discussion on, uh, on cooperation uh, uh, between our uh, institutions. Uh, there, there were cooperation between the capital market institutions, very long history of cooperation between the institutions of the capital market in Palestine and in Jordan. And uh, uh, back again to uh, when I was working with the regulator, <laughs> we had very strong relationship with the with the with, with the with the regulator uh, of the capital market uh, of Palestine. We have signed a cooperation agreement between uh, two institutions, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully uh, we'll reach uh, a, a f uh, uh, an official framework of cooperation. Uh, with the Palestine Stock Exchange in the future. Yeah, we're very keen actually to uh, enhance and deepen cooperation and tighten cooperation uh, between the Stock Exchange, the Amman Stock Exchange and other Stock Exchanges worldwide. The Arab Stock Exchanges, regional ones and international uh, Stock Exchanges. We're very keen actually to have very good relationship with these markets, with these stock exchanges, uh, exchanging expertise, uh, exchanging views, uh, uh, coordination, cooperation, uh, having strategic partnership with these, uh, with these, mar with these market and stock exchanges. So uh, uh, this is one of our, uh, our uh, main, uh, let's say, uh, am am ambitions to uh, to continue uh, this very good strategic uh, relationship with the with the with the with the world, with the region, yeah. with the Arab, with the, with the whole world stock exchange. And the very last question: In your personal opinion, what the world will look like after this pandemic? I, I don't think that there is a definite answer for this, since we have very huge and very big uncertainty. We've noticed in, uh, that the lockdown devastated countless businesses, uh, and many businesses are not expected to, uh, to reopen and to return back to normal uh, very soon. To be honest, also, there is a saying which says that in, in crisis, uh, be aware of danger. But, uh, 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 but also be aware of opportunities. Uh, I think cooperation between uh, the, the the world authorities should 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 be enhanced. Mm -hmm. uh, His Majesty the King said once that uh, we have to return to globalization, mm -hmm. but the right one. But the right one. So I think the the whole world will be reshaped. The economies will be reshaped. The new uh, world order will be reshaped. I'm not sure what is the shape of this reshaping. Yeah. But yeah. But I, I, I think uh, the, the 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 tendency of disintegration is. Is, 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 is most dangerous than the, the, the pandemic itself. Hmm. So I think the integration of the world economies and the authorities should have very strong uh, cooperation uh, relations to face this, uh, uh, to face the challenges of, of, of this uh, pandemic to fix the damage that was caused by, 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 by this pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that will take time. This is my expectation. Uh, but we have to have policies in place 
authorities should have policies in place uh, to, uh, to face the challenges. And, uh, and, and I think that the whole world should be, should have very strong cooperation. I think one of the things that uh, I'm expecting that uh, digitalization will be one of the main developments that we'll witness. Uh, the whole world now is, you know, concentrating on what they call the social distancing. Uh, so, yeah, the financial sector will be different. Mm -hmm. uh, payment transfers of money uh, will be uh, through smartphones, will be through uh, applications, rather than, you know, to reach what we call the, or what they call a cashless environment uh, in the uh, upcoming uh, era. But yeah. again, I think the fintech or this digitalization will, will be one of the main uh, evolutionary, let's say, uh, mm -hmm. aspects of, of, of the new shape of, 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 of this. Cooperation and technology uh, to some of this. We are all in this together and uh, we need to survive together. Thank you, sure. Mr. Mazen, for a very interesting interview. Well, thank you very much, Amira. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, again, I wish all the good luck and wish you uh, wish safety for the whole world, for you, for, for your family, and for the whole families of the world. And hopefully, uh, we'll see you in person very soon.